Isn't it ironic? I forgot to chamfer the top edge of this when it was in the mill and I'm making a tool to do that. Brother. Let's face off the end of this thing. Right we'll go in, touch off, lock it in place. get a half inch drill bit and drill in the end of that. Chucks here. Clean this mess up and we'll be right back. Set screw goes. I'm gonna have to come up with some better ways of hanging my camera because walking around that tripod all the time is a pain in the butt. See how it looks. That's pretty good right there. We're in 
uncharted territory here. I've got my little uh, Atlas tool post grinder on there because I didn't have anything that would cut that. I've never used this before. I've touched off. I'm getting ready to start the lathe and just let it feed automatically and take about one thousandth of a cut just to see what's going on. I've got my waves all covered up. Sounds like it's a little too much. Yes, it's warm. Shoot. Now what? Well, I used the tool post grinder and I just barely skimmed it and then I was going in a thousandth at a time until it was parallel because it seemed like it was thicker. The diameter was a little bigger here than it was here. And I got it all smoothed out and it just fits. So I uh, now I have to figure out where to put a little groove in there for that thing to hold it. Well, let's back up a little bit. Do you ever have those moments of just, I guess, just pure stupidity? You, you're cleaning up some, an area and you think, I'm never going to use this. Let's throw it in the box. It's going to go to the garage sale. Well, that's where this was at. Luckily, we hadn't had the garage sale yet and I saw Tom's video. I still even have the original box. This probably is as old as I am. And it looks like new. And I also have this one still in the box, which is the larger version. I believe they're both Yankee green Green neck or something like that. Greenly, greenly, number 452. There's the little button that, that locks it so it doesn't go, and then this is so you can back the screw out. Probably worth a lot more than I would have sold them for, too. Let's get back on this. I need to look at those drills to see what I need to do to the end of that. Uh... Okay, you see, I can use this as a pattern. It's got a little flat notch there and a little notch in there. I can use that to measure it and do the same thing on the end of this. There it is, in there nice and tight, won't come out. Let's just chamfer that hole. I just had that darn, there it is. See it. I'm gonna lock this and just lightly do it now. It left a pretty good burr on there. There we go. Nice chamfer on that edge. Turn this set screw back in there. I can put my Allen wrench away. There 
it is. Success with a tool that I was going to get rid of. You can use it just as a regular screwdriver type, or you can, well, you want to go this way. Thanks for the idea, Tom, and whoever gave you the idea. Thanks for watching.